Good morning, folks. Xanderbot. Xander me. Xanderbit also is here. Except when it's not. Sometimes it's not here. And it kind of looks like it's here. Hard to tell. Well, one day, one day we'll have a sure fire way. Of determining the actual nature of Schrodinger's Xanderbit. But in the meantime, let's play some Mega Man games because it's Good Morning Mega Man. Fanfare, where we play the fan games. It's actually morning. Imagine that. Not only that, we have a new version. I look forward to... <gasps> That's right, we're playing Anchor today! We're playing the Mega Man Killer. Anchor. 30%. Let's go. Don't crash. Cool. Perfect. Alright, cool. Flashman has a request. Pay a visit to the bar? Don't mind if I do. Oh, Element Man, I'm glad I know who you are, I'm but I'm here, also... unless I'm not. Eh, see? There you go. Unequivocal. Don't, don't like Element Man. Hey, hey, Otto, that's, that's a very good, that's a very good Dr. Wily impression. Mm-hmm. Shout out the portals. Please read Her Majesty the Prince. That's right. I love I love the lassie bit with beat. It's such, it's such a good it's it's a really good gag. I got a costume for buying stuff. Well, not to make light of my achievement, but I should I kinda have decided which one I'm gonna wear today. Ooh, more unlicited, un unlicited, unlicited advice that I didn't ask for? Iframes, use them. Your health is a resource. The brief moments between when you use health as a resource is also a resource. Oh, the turret. Allow yourself to save it. I love, I love the third piece of advice. It's, yeah, I love, like, okay, practical, practical. Hey, it's a game. You're a person. Allow yourself to enjoy this. I love you, big, giant thing whose name I've already forgotten. What the heck are you? It's Gunbo. The cursed alternate universe. Uh, cartoon uh, lead of uh, that that anime about like a kid who finds like a s no no I don't even want to I don't know I don't even want to go further into the gag does Bumbo actually live up to I should track down there's got to be there's got to be a way to I forgot okay so Bumbo. Let me, let me just, real quick, okay, okay, sorry, this is too Mega Man adjacent, no, not a web P, for crying out loud. So, uh, Bumbo, uh, let's see, do I have a decent quality picture? Sure don't. Okay, are you gonna save as a JPEG like a normal person? Yes, okay, cool. So, let me, let me show you something real quick. Uh... Ah, survival advice, beta game tip, personal advice. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, this here, this is uh, from the soundtrack. This is Bumbo. Uh, this is the uh, one of the many uh, anime series we got when I was a kid uh, on Canal Family here in uh, Quebec. That was basically, hey, let's just dub a bunch of anime into French. Why not? Uh, and, uh, a lot of these I don't think were ever released in the U.S. So it was basically like, yeah, some, we had some, got some French language anime that didn't really show well elsewhere. Boombo was literally about this Ash Ketchum looking kid who finds a sentient, uh, rolling talking automobile, uh, who can't 
find their mom. And so the whole series is about uh, the kid helping Bumbo, the sentient automobile, uh, f find find their mom. And just you know, it's like oh, let's let's travel along. It's like a very very chill, all ages version of that really cool anime with the like. Uh, with the non-binary protagonist and the talking motorcycle. Kind of like that one. I forget what it is. Anyway, this is Bumbo. Uh, I still know the theme song. It is, like, one of the things that, like, you know, like a, a, one of, a, a milestone of my childhood, for sure. Uh, and, uh... And let me... Now, let me find a, uh... So okay, so the okay, so Bumbo is actually a very close adaptation of the title, because the actual Japanese title is Hey Bumbo, which is absolutely yep, totally, totally close. Um, it's very close to the actual thing, and uh, I, I see here in 1989, Saban Entertainment actually dubbed some of the episodes of this show for American audiences. Uh, it was like, just, I think, like, released straight to video, it seems like. Oh, Celebrity Home Entertainment, just for kids, had these, like, on VHS tapes and so forth. So maybe, maybe you saw this in the U.S. Apparently it was also released in the U.S. But it was released in the U.S. not as Bumbo, but as Bumpity Boo. Which is the hilarious title to say, but also the most vile, sub-weapon coded anime name I have seen today. The, the, that was the deepest cut. The deepest cut would be having some sort of crossover between Vile and that talking car. Maybe one day. Maybe someone, maybe someone in the entire world has thought of it. Anyway, let's go back to talking to Gunbo. The sentient gun looking for his... I don't even want to... No! I was doing the bit! No! No, don't tell me the gun is actually looking for his dad! No! I didn't even read the text till now! Don't call me Papa Cap. I didn't even read the text! You have to understand, this is my first time actually reading what it said. I would just looked at the picture and it was called Gunbo, and that's it. I didn't go further. Forgot to turn my lights on. I did was I wasn't even I wasn't even doing this bit willingly. I just I didn't even So You have to believe me, I did not read the, te the actual text. I do this a lot where I just like, oh, picture, name, okay, cool. Let me do a prolonged bit, and then I'll actually continue reading what's on the screen. Well, that was even more appropriate now. That's it. That's all you say. Okay. No. I don't... No. I don't want to. <laughs> uh, you have more to say? Oh, they just... Okay, they just swap in and out for fun. Hi. Hi, Officer Gumshoe. How many cups you're up to now? 42 cups. Shout out to Mega Man 42. <gasps> Mouse! You don't- no one needs jobs. But there's always a lot of work to be done. Hey, heard any rumors? Yeah, jump around. Oh yeah. Ha <laughs> ha 
puppeteered by the need to inform everyone about Wombo. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, the tiger count, I believe, is. Uh, I think the tiger t drinks one cup of coffee for every level I've beaten. All of those conversations with the, uh, oh, the bartenders. Okay, okay, so all of these are new. So let's do it around here. I ask because I finally get to eating my breakfast. You've met him? Ow. No. 60% evil at best. Just enough, so... Like... You know... The, the regulations, like... Yeah, don't, don't, like, apply to you. I can't believe I can't believe I have to say this in pointy X hacks. Um You know Victor Heights should just be paying you a living wage, right? You don't like tipping is just it's 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 messed up practice. You You should talk to your fellow robots. Talk, talk to Ford woman over there. She's, she's, she's been saying things along the lines of like, you know, people, people of a similar class banding together. You should, you should, you should get to talking. You should get to talking. I should be throwing money into the junkyard though. Like I need to get more stories. I had grog. Oh, like I won't actually eat through the mug? Alright, I'll come back. Time to take the elevator. Sideways! Let's go! Yeah! <clears throat> ba -da -ba -da. Oh yeah, you. Giga Kubagata is here to tell you it's actually morning, and Xandra... Xandra got an early start to the day. Oh yeah, you, you told me about All right, let's go. Oh, hey, what's what's your bike? What's your biker phone? Oh yeah, right, right, jousting. Let's joust. All right, where are we going today? Open up the old brochure. We've defeated the runes. We should go say hi to Giant Taco. Oh, hi, Junk Man. Okay, so let's see. There's a there's a trick to heading on down here, right? Oh yeah, I've been using toggle, which is why are you here? Oh, you are. Cool. Okay, is the oh, I wonder if hold on. There's one. There's one right here, right? Yeah. No. Wasn't there one, like, right there? Ah! 
Okay, yeah, it, it won't physically show until I actually do the thing. Got it, got it. Ah, oh, here it is. Taco Trash, I have another story that I need you to tell. <laughs> I got it, and then I, and then I ungot it. Ghastly rumor. Ooh, 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 ooh. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Hmm. Abandoned base. It always weirds me out when Mega Man acknowledges modern nations. It just feels like in the like it's oh yeah, no, in the, there's 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 Britain in the future. It's future Britain. That's fascinating. Follow up question: Which war? Which war, though? What? What exactly? Who? Who was warring with whom? For what? Yeah, Doctor Casa comes from somewhere. Yeah. Mafia group. Are you talking about the box cartel or like? What is this about? What is this about? What is this about? The military's top secret weapon, Project Shadow, was stolen from the military base located on a deserted island in the Southern Seas. This incident increased worldwide terrorist activities. Sonic the Hedgehog was arrested. The adventure for truth leads to the incidents that shock the entire world. The story takes our hero Sonic from the Earth and into outer space. Sonic Adventure 2, Hero Side Story. Farewell, Sonic, forever. <laughs> Thank you, Samantha. I've never played a 3D Sonic game, so I will never know how accurate this is, but... Alright, let's not let's leave the scrap here. Let's not go to the sewers or the jailhouse or the gift shop. Let's go back to the place I like the least conceptually on a physical sense. Uh, this place looks great, bops, incredible, but I get cold easily and I don't like it. Ever since switching to estrogen, my body just like cannot retain heat. Uh, which is why uh, I am glad that uh, my wife is the opposite. My wife is a, an endothermic furnace. Uh, so I'm the one who layers up and, you know, she just she just can wear whatever she wants anytime. It never gets too hot or too cold. Hi, Fort Drummond. Let's talk about, let's talk about robot rights. Let's talk about what, you know, little guys deserve. Because we're all little guys, you know, in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, never, never allow yourself to be exploited doing your dream job. You still, it's still a job. You still deserve to be paid. Oh yeah, this one's fun. Toggle's really working well for me. 
Oh yeah, are there any new options? Uh, I wasn't. I, I thought I, I saw something about. Uh... No new options. Okay. Manual tippy toe. Really? I have this on? I have this on! This is so cool! Alright, alright, Anchor, let's take you through your paces. It's time to stall for time. <laughs> it's time to stall for more time. Yeah, I've been, you know. Okay, well, computer hasn't locked up yet, so I'm very happy. I'm very grateful for that. Thank you. Uh, yeah. 20 minutes into the uh, episode proper. Let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just stretch that out a little bit more. How's the... Oh, boy. Uh, hmm. No passing grades. Everything's... Okay. 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 Some decent scores. Some good scores for creativity and aesthetics, actually. Some... Some existing scores for fun. And design, well... Almost a passing grade by one person. Wow! Patchy was the lowest score. Still, the highest in creativity, highest in aesthetics, lowest overall. What did you do? Draxian O. What did you do that? What did you do to make this come about? I have to know. I have to know. To know. Yeah, there's the, there's a lot of there's a lot to do in this game. I like to. I like I like to stretch my legs a little. I like to hang around. I like to see the sights. It's there's a lot of fun to be had. Oh no, quick man! No! Oh no! Oh no! Cold man, you exist. What do you do? I, I feels feels like I would have uh oh like refrigerator like this yeah I don't it feels like I would have heard of you anyway yeah I mean you put listen just like my hero Samus if I see a little nook I'm gonna want to like just just you know roll up into it because it's because it's it feels like it's gonna be cozy anyway end up stalling for time time for stalling for time. Oh boy, let's go. Of course they would be. Strong start. I, I, I like this track. I like this track, actually. Uh, hey, do I talk to you, or... No, you just... Hey, do I, do I talk to you, or just... No, you're just... you literally just a wall. Okay, cool. That's fine. Who's in here? Annoying glitches. All right. This level is deemed such due to various technical issues with its custom assets. If you choose to play, prepare for jank. Thank you, multi-man. How about you, itch man? The tokens here are locked behind a boss fight. It's very, very grindy and time-consuming. Just kept healing and healing. It would have almost had her. Oh, my skin crawls just thinking about it. Thank you, thank you, itch man. Okay, so... Listen, listen, I am, I am a, I have been a Cusa Grande GM for several years at this point. I accept the jank. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Comes with the territory. Is that a, is that giant stone man? Oh, <coughs> that's a, a stomper, stomper guy. It's, it's, it's Stompy McStomperson, but stone man. 
usually uh, the the action, the relentless grinding of the waves will wear you down. Kinda. Kinda. Sort of. Sort of. It sort of worked. Oh! It just... He just... He just went... It just went poof. Like, like nothing. That's... Kind of sad. It's been a good while since we... So fragile, man. What the heck was that? Oh, you oh my god, it's a tiny friender! It's a tiny friender! Oh. Okay. Stalling for time. This is stalling for time, man, or whatever. Oh my god, you made a tiny little snail. So this is stalling for time, man. I guess. Who's just like, do I need to... Okay. Um. Is this a situation... Okay, the tiny, tiny little bosses. I'm... Okay, I'm, I'm really, really... Oh man, look at that! That's a really cool, like, little hatch in the background there. Is- is all of- Is all of this- Oh, I see. Yeah, well, I just- Yeah, what if I just shoot ya? Oh, and then you come back. Interesting. Okay, now, so this one's gonna be tricky, unless... Okay, how do I get him to do the wah, and then actually zoom through? Uh, presumably, I sh would have uh, dealt with him earlier. Hmm. Oh, her? Oh, her, thank you! Oh, that's the boss! That's Stalling for Time Woman. Or Stalling Woman or something. Ah, there we go. If I do enough damage, then I have a window. Cool. So... Okay, well, sometimes, sometimes she blows up. I like her. Yoink! <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Okay, so what's the hitbox on these? None. The hitbox is none. <clears throat> so, do I just like... No, I can't. Okay, how do you work? Oh, no, it... Oh, was it lining up weird? Oh, 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 jank. Right, I forgot about the jank. I forgot about the jank. The jank. Uh, when, when they interact is the bad thing. Hitbox is jank. Oh, good, there's a checkpoint. Poifix. Hey, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. This is neat. Whoop. What a, what a level. What a level with a lot of ideas. Also, I like this track. Zoop! Okay, I can just shoot you and it's gonna be better. But what if I break through you? <laughs> okay, that was, that was a more satisfying destroy of you. Oh, hey, wall's fake. 
So I'm, I'm guessing I didn't miss anything. But if I did, I'll just come back. It's fine. Listen, I, listen. Snake Man is, is my favorite robot master of Mega Man 3. I am prepared for vertical moving platform jank. I am well aware of the weirdness that comes with the territory of affecting the movement of me. Feels like I shouldn't... Feels like I should have survived that. Especially after my long diatribe on how I was ready for it and all that. Feels like a little, little bit rude. Little bit rude there. Little, little bit rude. Hi, right, sup? Yeah, leave. Yeah, Power Stone Man, whatever. You ever get crushed by a tornado or the pale moonlight? Mmm, don't like that. Okay. I pressed jump. So I did the thing where I pressed, I let go of the button and I pressed jump, but it was a frame too early. And because I wasn't jumping, I just pressed down on the button harder. And that didn't work. That didn't work at all. So that's, that's, yeah, a, a more seasoned player would have realized, ah, no. Relax, stay calm, don't panic, release the button, press it again. Snake Man <clears throat> is so good, is the thing. I love Snake Man dearly. He gets people out of, like, dangerous situations. His weapon is friends. His weapon is a bunch of little friends. Nah, it took me too long to switch to the weapon. Ah! Help! Help! Okay. Okay. Should have made a resolution to use the cool weapons more, because, like, okay, I'm coming around on the, uh, the weapon... I'm coming around on the weapon selection for this one. I wasn't super feeling it at first, but now I'm like, okay, okay, I'm start. It, it's... It's getting me to engage with weapons I don't usually use all that much. I mean, Spark Chaser is like, it's great as a second weapon because it's just, it's so good as I think it's a homing weapon. You, you gotta love the homing weapon. Laser Trident as the second one, solid choice because it pierces. Shield as the third, really good because it gets you uh, the, the defense. And then you have, okay, the more powerful and utilitarian options that are like, later on. Uh, ice, like, I pr probably might have put Ice Wall here just to go with all the utilities when you swing around from the other side, but Break Dash being here is good because it cements its place as a... just as much of a utility as a weapon. It's both. So I'm, I'm really, I lo I'm really, really liking this selection this time around. Yeah, that... Yeah, Malamut. Oh, man. Oh, don't make me... Oh, man. So, at some point, I'm going to do a viewing party for my uh, AMVs. At some point, I'm going to put it up on my YouTube, and I'll, we'll have a viewing party on teenage... Teenage Sandra's... Why is this here? Oh my god, it's Susie! Oh, it's perfect. Why is why is this here? Why did you put this here? Okay, okay. Well, we'll just have to see about that. Oh. Hi, who are you? Oh, you're... Oh, okay. This is such a cool... This is such a cool concept for level. Stalling for time and all the enemies are mid-bosses that stall you in the middle of a level. 
This is a really good... I'm dying! This is a really... Good, ah. This is a really good concept. The concept is really good. Okay. You're right, the compass didn't go off, but I was like, oh, is this, is there a dev teleporter that brings me here or something? I just, I just wanted to explore it, because I found it. Um, okay. So, usually, oh yeah, I think I, you use the, like, uh, is it Shadow Blade or Punch sometimes? I think it's Shadow Blade for this one. Uh, I have this that is, you know, it's a trident. It's got blades on it. Is the closest thing I have uh, to a blade-like weapon. Oh, it's a turtle background. It's a turtle pattern in the background. I'm very wrong, of course. Uh, let's go for mechanical weaknesses. I am spending a lot of time in the middle of the stage. I could use Spark Chaser, but it feels like cheat uh, cheating. Uh, what if I use Thunder Beam to and position myself over this boss? Aha! There we go. Okay, what if I actually did whiff 90% of my shots? You whiff 90% you whiff of the shots you try to take. Oh, did I found a pixel? No. Well, I, I found it briefly, but... It's Stall Woman! I love Stall- uh, Hi, big fan. Big fan. Love, love this. Really, really loving this. Timer hat. Timer hat, real good. Also, like, oh, eyeliner. Man, this is good. Is never mind. I don't have to. Is this one, two, three tokens? Is is this what this is? Start shorter. Cool. Oh, thank you. Cause I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll like. Yeah. Let's go. Wait, what's going on? A Tumblr post about... Her eyes were the sickly green of the sky before a tornado, and to my horror, she could throw cars just as easily. That's... Oh, that's a great line! That's a great line! That is a great line! Man! Shout out, shout out to cool one-liners. Anyway, Flashman says start shorter, so you know what? I'm gonna take Flashman's advice. got a little heal bot. Hold on a second. I'm gonna heal myself.
Listen, you're not the only one who's who can heal, right? And your little drones, too. Alright. Oh, you could just... Hi, Mina! Hello! I did get a key. Alright. Check out the next room first. Okay. Thank you, Flash. I appreciate the Flash Man is here to not waste my time. I see. I understand. Okay. Stall hint one. 48. Oh, nice. I just got it. Okay, so damage, shields destroyed, and drones destroyed. There's a way to use her healing against her, but the words for beating her out. Oh, whoops, little typo. The rewards for beating her at right are just three keys. Well, you don't need anything else than three keys, do you? I see. No, one, okay, yeah, it's shorter was really a good call. No, I, I really appreciate it. Listen, listen, I would have picked ten minutes. So, yeah, no, appreciate it. Anyway. Heart. <laughs> Hi, Mina. How you doing? I can just go back in there. Let's go. Let's just do it again. Let's just do it again. Alright, stalled woman. We're fighting stalled woman. Uh... Her stage was full of mid-bosses, turned into small enemies. It's great. It's great. We're having a good time. Uh, alright, so... I wonder if Trident is gonna pierce her shield. Sure will. this. Does it do anything? Oh, it sure does. Don't freeze, you jerk! You... Oh. Oh, I just... I just straight up blew her up. Whoops. Well, I win. I guess. So, I, that was the optimal path. You... You get one key from her, and then you, you just straight up defeat her. Barf, indeed. Mmm, tank. Ah, there we go. Alright, there we go, there we go. Goodbye, goodbye, stall woman. You were better than all of us. But wasting our time. Mm. Gets... Anchor gets the Mega the Game Boy Mega Man victory fanfare. That's great. We're playing as Anchor today. It's been a good time. Some wacky things can happen if you don't destroy her barriers, hence the jank. Yeah, the background was a turtle made of turtles. It's great. No, this that stage was fantastic. Like yeah, janky moving platforms over pits. Fair enough, but the checkpoints were fine. And the enemy selection was so cool. It's only mid-bosses. It's like, it's mid-bosses as enemies, but they're actually shrunk and, and health lowered to be regular enemies. It's so creative. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I, I, I need to do a... I need, I need... I gotta do it now. I have to do a... Uh victory fanfare for like uh Xander Bot's costume. Yeah, Stall Woman's great. I love her. I love her. She's one of my new favorite additions to the, the Mega Man canon. The Mega Manon. 
But judges really didn't like this one. I don't know, sometimes, sometimes we just disagree. I love this. This was fun. Maybe my opinion would change if I had just really drilled down and tested the limits of the stage, but as a casual playthrough? This is great. I love this. Yeah, hey, you want to go for 10 minutes, and then I win in 15 seconds. Yeah, this, you know, I got weapons. I'm guided by the beauty of my weapons. And all these health and energy tanks I found. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's see. Mick Galbani's glasses are broken. Where to begin? The aesthetic is great. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess it is a generic fortress. I suppose, but it is in the colors, in colors that feel well, with Stallwoman's shtick. There is another. You know what? Okay, before I, before I get into this, I'm gonna check out that other path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Stallwoman. Now that I know that this is who you are. Okay, so uh, look at this. Look at the tiny little Friendsters. The tiny little hot dogs. She's stolen. She's stolen. She's doing her job. Look at these little friends. Thank you. It's a little snail. Hello, little snail. Aren't you a cutie patootie? Aren't you adorable? And look at this. The stall woman does follow you through the stop. The stall woman does follow you through the stage, and now she's gone because I died. She's trying to stall you, which is great, which is great. I appreciate a robot master who's like, you know, working in the actual state. I understand why that killed me, but it's weird that it teleported me into the ceiling. Wow, wow. I'm really liking the this anger costume. Whoops. My friend Andy uh, helped me get my um, pocket operator working, so I've been like, I've been tempted to go back to dabbling in music. I love music. Uh, I miss singing a lot. So I've been doing little acapella songs for uh, the the compost music uh, challenges on co-host. I'm gonna get back to it. Hey, little guy! Oh, oh wow! My thing actually worked. Check this out. <laughs> Revenge. Oh yeah, I. Oh, I guess she's just gone. Huh. Whoop. Let's check out this. Oh yeah? You wanna hurt me? It'll cost you. <gasps> Look at this little I just I love the tiny hot dogs. I love the tiny hot dogs. Left or right? Always always go left. <gasps> Snail is back. Hello. Hmm. Oh, is that a is that an impossible jump for regular? Oh, excuse, I, excuse me, snail. I'm trying to demonstrate a thing here. Really? So it's a. All right. So the th a three by you can't Mega Man can do a three by three. I guess Mega Man can't do a 3x3. Three three. Now I know. Alright. Also, shout out, shout out to the Rush Coil of this costume, which is a Susie. I love Susie. Susie's great. Wait, how does that work? How does that work? Why did that work? How does... I thought... S 
slide makes the slide make your hit okay so this slide affect your hitbox and give you like like just an extra coyote frame or two or something I didn't even know that was that was a thing I didn't even know Oh, there's a Wu Tang. Oh, and hi, hi. Was... Mega Man, even though he is obviously <laughs> Hey, buddy. Sorry, sorry. I'm leaving. So where does where does this? Oh, is this like a little special like skip teleporter to skip this hardship? Actually, let me turn on my mini map. Kind of looks not a skip. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Beep. Hey, normal spark man. How you doing, buddy? He might just have to drop into the boss room. Oh, is this the lore of the stage? It's stage lore. Oh, okay. Okay, so the, the lore of the stage is the stage isn't finished. This is neat. This is neat. Man, what a cool stage. So much effort. Man, I'm sad it got this... This, this, these, these scores. Just like, man, the effort. The eh, gotcha pun. The effort. Where am I? Oh, I'm at the bottom of the, the thing. Okay. Technically a small skip. Okay, I want to see what I missed, though. I want to see what I missed. Oh. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good, actually. Sometimes you're just lucky. Okay, okay, sometimes your sometimes your luck runs out though. But you okay? You don't look like you're okay. Oh, well, nah, you were looking the wrong way. Oh. Oh, weird that this thing would go all the way up here. Aha! What if there was. Oh, nothing. Okay. Sorry, nothing. <laughs> oh. I can't actually jump that. <laughs> Nothing. What's the jet? It's good. Oh, nice little touch. They show us this is spikes to explain why it's a death pit over here. Here's where, here's where the, yeah, yeah. This is where the hidden thing was. Okay, well now I've seen everything. Let's let's just pretend. Let's just pretend everything's normal. the jump thing again. Oh, anyway. Now we've seen everything. This is great. This is great. I like this level. I like st the stall woman boss fight. It's just good. It's a good time. I like... <gasps> gotcha bomb! <gasps> hey, hey. 
Okay, before you insult me, okay? Look, look, look at the face of the person you're insulting. Okay, you can insult me now. Ha! Psych! Take 200 points of damage. <laughs> oh, wait, no, the plushie doesn't punish when hit. Ah, oh, dang. Wow. It's the Guardian. Anyway, why did judges not like stalling for time? Because I love this level. Yeah, well-made, memorable, really cool concept. Lead robot master harassing you throughout the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just... It's such a cool concept. I really... I love Stall Woman. Literal mini-bosses. Yeah, the little mini-bosses were adorable, and I want 20 of them. There's, yeah, clear and effective design intent. It's just... It's, it's just... The lighting climb with all the hot dogs, I... Oh, right! I have... I have the fast... I got the fast ladder, and when I arrived, two of the hot dogs were looking the other way, so whew, wasn't even a thing for me. I can see how that would be a bit of difficult. Room I cast. Buster not worth that. Yeah, it's fair enough, fair enough. I, I've been trying to wean myself off of Buster on because it's just fun. It's just fun to try out the weapons now and then. However, yeah, that however is load-bearing, given you gave this level 58%. There's not much better way to say it. This feels like it's held together with prayers, silly string, and duct tape. Several invisible blocks in the level. One of the tornado generators is missing their graphics. Stall Woman has some very awkward looking flight patterns. I guess. A small detail though. The tornado generator. <coughs> oh, so these are <coughs> reskin Kamigoro tornadoes. I'm guessing. The Kamigaro is like the, uh, the mini-boss that spits out the turtles. Yeah, they do cause a lot of zips that just plain don't work, which is really weird. But if they're just, if they're just reskinned things from the dev kit, isn't this a dev kit problem rather than a level problem? Or did the, or did the level creator make them? In which case, yeah, I get it. It is weird that they're so buggy, though. It is a dev kit thing, so yeah, it's just... Hmm. Is it... Is it the level creator's problem when these... When tools from the toolkit, from the dev kit, are buggy when used? Is this... Because that is, that is a conundrum. Is this something... Well, this is something that the engine should fix. Or is it... Well, you are now aware that this thing is buggy. So you should use it in ways that minimize the jank. Or use something else instead. Though it is a really good bit to use that... The mini-boss tornado. Because that mini-boss shows up. And is actually the... Like, like, quote-unquote, real boss of the level. Hmm. Some of these should be fixed for the release because, yeah, Mick doesn't like making players suffer through, no, suffer through the judges' shenanigans. But, and also we got a bunch of upgrades that the judges didn't, but... Okay. Flashman stance. If the engine assets are buggy, it is the creator's responsibility to either bug the dev team to fix it, repair it themselves, or find workarounds to downplay the jank. Yeah, it's like, it is unfortunate, but if you test it and find out there's, yeah. I would lean more on like, uh, man, but it's hard. Yeah, there's no, there's no real, it feels to me like this is probably something that like, I, I don't like to ask people <gasps> Amethyst! Hello! Hi, Amethyst! Good morning! How you doing? It's the morning and I'm streaming, and I've been streaming for an hour. Imagine that. Thank you so much for the raid. What were you up to? We're just, we're just talking, we're just, we're talking dev, because we just finished a really, you really cool did level. It. 
great job! Got a bad score, and I'm like, oh man, it's got some, some Mega Man, some Mega Man level design, like, opinions about it. What happened? <gasps> Alexa, thank you! Thank you, thank you for 57 months, I appreciate it. Oh yeah, no, new favorite Robot Master. Incredible. Okay, hold on a second. Sorry, oh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna stall for time a little bit more. Because it's time to go back to stalling for time. Here is Stall Woman, my new favorite Robot Master. Guess what she does? Guess, guess what her role is? She's, 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 trying to, she's trying to get me to take more time going through her level. Hey! But sometimes she helps you, though. Anyway, this, this whole level's gimmick is about getting through this stage while the boss is trying to keep you from getting through the stage, because the the gimmick is that the level... Oh, see, now she's she's trying to block me from accessing a little hidden thing. <laughs> anyway, the Stall Woman's great. I love this stage. Uh, big fan of it. It's cool. It's cool. Man. Also, if not sure, uh, we have been playing Make a Good Mega Man Level 3, which is a giant compilation. A big contest of uh, making... Like, a bunch of people, hundreds of people were tasked with this challenge. Make a good Mega Man level using this framework. A very, very, like, complex and, and spruced up, like, uh, game maker, uh, like, engine. And you they did! You did it! Great job! Shy, thank you for the sub! Thank you for 64 months! Well, that's a fun, that's a fun number. And a panel of five judges have been meticulously rating every single level, and I'm just going through them in order, because I like doing that. Uh, normally, I, normally I would be Mega Man, but today I'm Anchor, because there's a very healthy costume shop in this game. This game is gigantic. You have, like, permanent upgrades to unlock. You have... It's, it's, it's so good. It's so good. You, sh you should play it. If you like Mega Man, God, what a good game. But anyway, stalling for time got bad scores. And I'm upset about it, because I really like it. So we're just looking at the judges' reviews. And <clears throat> trying to figure out what happened, but also, you know, understanding different points of view, because that's kind of how it is. That's kind of how it is. Anyway, thank you so much for the rate. I'm really grateful. If you are new to me, I'm Alexandra. I play Mega Man in the morning, three times a week. And uh, for the past, like, what, 20 streams I've been playing this game, and I'm not even halfway through, and it's so good. We're just going to keep playing, because it's a Mega Man game. That exists, and therefore I'll play through it. So Mick, Mick Galbani, who was usually who's uh, used to used to go by Blackmore Darkwing, which was really a solid history of having really really cool names, uh, is usually the no nonsense, like even Stephen Judge. But man, okay, so just came down on the jank, like. As I would, like, so the, the, the main thing is, like, this level uses a bunch of, like, tornado platforms that are very janky when used, but they're a dev kit asset, so, like, I, for me, like, I don't want to put, I don't want to put the onus on, like, uh, the, the contestant having to bug the dev team. I think, like, some people just, for some people, that's just really, really hard to do, so I usually want to avoid that as a possibility, but I also get the idea of, if you use a part of the dev kit and you find out that it's janky, like, it sucks, but some, sometimes it might be better to just cut your losses and find something else to reskin, but yeah, man, that's a hard breaker. Or maybe, like, lean less on it, because there was some other cool stuff happening in the level. It didn't have to be, like, 60% those specific moving platforms over pits. IMO. I think there were probably other ways to do it. It's sad, but like I think that might have been a better way. I don't know. It's a it's hard. It's a hard choice. It's a hard it's it's a hard situation. Nowhere are the problems more apparent than the main boss. Okay, well okay, well that one that one that one I don't have anything to say about. 
So, yeah. Oh, the tornadoes are super buggy, though. For the turtle boss. That was... He was a bit of an anticlimax, but I do appreciate that they... If you defeat the boss, you have a brief window of time to sneak through the hidden exit. It worked for me, but I might have been upset if I couldn't have done it, because I don't know how else you get up there. If you don't just... If you're not in the right place, right time, and duck through the opening. Because in Mega Man, to go through a vertical, like, like screen transition, and I know something or two about transition, if, to go through a vertical screen transition, you have to ride something up there. Either you climb a ladder or you ride something up there. You can't just jump. That doesn't work. So, those tornadoes might have been the only thing to propel you up there. Yeah, Token Woman, same problem. Token Woman, there's a hidden thing after the boss, but if you defeat the boss in a certain way, or when you're really close, because one of the weapons in this game is just a straight-up melee weapon, you'll just collect the end-of-level thing. And that's it. IMO, it feels like belt and suspenders. Like, I, it really feels like you should... If you're gonna do a... You beat the level. Wait, there's a little alternate thing you can go through. You have to make sure that the player can't accidentally beat the level. You have to, you have to make sure, like, it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's like Super Mario World Kaizo and stuff like that. If it's... Uh, <coughs> if it's the player's own fault, it's fine. But if it is the, the creator of the experience smacking the player's controller out of their hand, there's ways there's ways to pull it off. Like it's 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 goodness knows there's like a lot of like, you know, fish like a sprite sprite of the gold tape in Kaizo, but it feels like sometimes like that's a thing that's gonna this is gonna make a player angry. And I think that's not really like Mega Man is not known for this sort of shenanigans. Mega Man is more about like like the fairness when it comes to this kind of stuff. Especially when it comes to like stuff that like knocks you into pits because Mega Man does not have Mario's movement options. Mega Man goes left, right, jumps and slides and that's it. There's there's not a lot of depth to it. But yeah, Stall Woman anyway, back to Stall Woman. Stall Woman's fight was great. I had a really good time. Like, it's it's so cool that you have a boss that okay. First time I've ever said this. It's so cool that you have a boss that heals. Like, that's, that's, like, yeah, stall woman. Like, I think it's, it's cool because her concept is that she wastes your time, but because that's the concept and it's executed really well, like, it's all in ways you can learn to counter. She's putting up shields, you can destroy the shields, but you can also just jump on them and just, you know, use your limited movement options to gain the upper hand. She heals, but she heals by summoning a little healing drone that is green and is literally, like, doing a thing. You, it is an object, and you can snipe it to stop her from healing. And the healing drone is always above her shield. So she's protecting herself, but never her healing drone. It's always in the open. Like, there's little bits like, this is really, it's a really well-designed boss. It's really cool. Yeah, and she's got so many cool things she can do, like, you know, putting up like stacks of like like walls of shields like that was so cool also yeah she just straight up has time freeze because of course she does but she uses it very sparingly yep it's just i'm glad i'm glad that i'm glad that mick found thought this too this was just a, such a good time her secret weakness Oh, precise timing with her damage weakness, but there's a secret weakness hinted at in the storage room. Really? Did I forget about that? I never found out her weakness. I was just so excited because the... It's not... Uh, it's not the piercing weapon, the, the, the trident, because of course it's not. Because that's a very useful weapon to have. It shouldn't do more damage. It is already being very efficient. The prize room. I did use it before her boss fight. Oh, is it? Was it like a? 
I don't remember what the hint was in the storage room. Yeah. What was the hint? It's a situational weakness, and not one you'd expect. Huh. Interesting. Situational weakness. Okay, I, I love because I like like a mechanical weakness because I love those. Could be water because when she freezes you, you still have a shield around you. That would be weird. No, whenever she's moving, she's pushing a shield in front of her, so she wouldn't just walk into the water. I wonder, is it thunder because, like, it, it waves and it can knock out her drone? Is it... It's pretty smart when you really think about it. The hint was, if there was some way to reverse her healing... Oh... With her little drone? Is it Thunderbeam because you, like, sort out her healing drone or something? That would be funny. Because some there's some things that when you hit them with Thunderbeam, they're like... <laughs> they do, like, a little, uh, like, haywire effect. But that's super rare. Is that it? Because that would be funny. That would be really funny. Because I don't think I have any other weapons that are meant to, like, sort out... Or, like, reverse thing. I don't know if it's like the magnetic shockwave. But that really just damages stuff. It doesn't... It's actually even funnier. Attacking the drones just destroys them. It's actually... It's, it's, it's even funnier? Really? Anyway, yeah. Like, Mick loved this boss fight. Okay, so what else do we got? Spark Chaser's gonna keep... Well, Spark Chaser will probably just keep working for you, but I wonder if it will just plink off of the shield. It's funny, but it does pertain to the drones. I don't think... Is it a weird magnet beam interaction? Usually those don't happen. Does tornado blow just... Whoosh, make the... the shield go away? It would be fun to just use a shield of our own, but I don't see how that would affect the door. No, I'm not... Oh, I can find her in the boss gallery! You're right! Okay, okay, okay. As soon as I'm done here, we're going to the boss gallery. Thank you. I was like, I don't want to go through the whole fight again. I don't have to. There's a boss gallery in this game. Okay, quickly, what's what's the other boss? Okay, what's the other bosses? The other... The, the meta bosses. The bosses for the contestants. The judges. Okay, Shinryu also. Shinryu, who's the harshest judge of them all. Not in this case, though. The most glitches out of the any in the contest. What a heartbreaker. Oh, man. Stop. She did vanish on my second playthrough. Maybe I just got lucky. And I didn't get any glitches. Oh, man. You missed out on the big gimmick. Because she didn't follow you. No, that was the whole cool thing, is that she just follows you through the level. She's stalling. Stall woman would sometimes turn around midway through a screen transition. Is that what she does? Is that what she does? Because it feels like uh, she was going through a screen transition when I died, and then when I respawned, she just wasn't at the start. Oh yeah, some of the tortado spot. Tortado, tortado, tortado pawners, yeah. Um, it's my favorite, my favorite Mexican dish. Uh, multiple judges said, like, some of the tornado spawners weren't properly showing up, which I guess I didn't see. I wouldn't, because they weren't showing up. Uh, <clears throat> yep, I found, I found the pit with the platform bludgeon. Oh, you could just, you could just straight up destroy her with tornado blow. I guess I did. I guess that's what I did. Which, whoops, it does do a bunch of damage. Kind of, kind of does do a lot of damage. That was kind of good. She would be a good Shovel Knight boss. The 
The boss music? Oh, really? Huh. I guess I... You could you can fight stall woman and then fight something else? Weird. Right. Oh, could you clip through oh could you just leave through Could you leave through the ceiling during the boss fight? Without even defeating the boss, you could just leave at any time? Yes! Cause the boss wasn't actually the real boss. He was stalling for time! Oh man, that's that's okay, that is clever. That is, that is really clever. That is really, really clever. Okay, okay. Man! And this is such a hard, this is such a tough, like, bit to go for, because stalling is something that is usually frustrating for a player, so just doing it so well, I mean, I, if only it hadn't been this janky, I probably would have been gentler on it, looking past the bugs, just because the the whole of the rest of the experience is just so fantastic. Probably would have tanked the functionality score, but left a lot of the rest of it, because... I understand why sometimes it bleeds through, but I don't know, I, don't know, I, just, I just think there's like way more that's shown through. Or I left a lot of pits and moving platforms, though. I think, I think the stage could have been a little bit something other than that. I agree with Shinryu. Mm. Yeah, it's really just stall woman chasing you and, and slowing you down is such a good idea. Yeah, man, Glitch has really just tore this level apart. I guess if you're trying to bust her only, I guess Heavy is the name, that would be not a, not a good time. Sometimes, see, that's, that's the thing that always tripped me up as a kid, as a legend game designer. I, I didn't I don't I didn't know. I don't really still know how to make good enemy AI, but now thanks to all the Mega Man games I've played, I know more. I have a way better idea. And sometimes you absolutely don't need to be that complicated as a as a video game enemy. You just, you know, need to offer a fun challenge. It was that said it was really hard to hit him because of the jankiness of the if the if the I think if the tornadoes had been two by two instead of one by one, like like two tile wide tar like things and then two tile wide gaps, I think it would have been better because especially since they were all like slightly offset vertically, it just made this everything so janky. Yeah, I I, I agree that there the probably was a better way to do that fight. Shinryu, really? Shinryu wasn't a big fan of the stall woman. But yeah, just tornado blow just destroys, completely destroys the fight. You know, Flashman, that's a good point. I've played so many ROM hacks that were just outright, uh, really rough to play that this is, no, this is great. I'm used, to, yeah, this is fine. I've seen, I've seen way jankier games. That that would be that would be like a good take on it. If I ever like you know, if there's ever like a, a another like judge selection or something, I might want to throw my hat into the ring just because that's a fun perspective to have. Be like, I've played so much Mega Man jank, a horrible ROM hacks, just because I, I stuck through it because sometimes they have really cool ideas at the end and it makes it through. Getting through all of that feels like feels like it would be. Uh, I feel like that would be like a fun, like a fun, fun little like, you know, a fun, fun judge personality. If I was, yeah, if I, if, if, if something like this would ever happen, that's probably the angle. Probably the angle I keep in mind. Like that's, what do you bring to the table? I, I've played a lot of Jag and I love, I still, I still love all of it. Because there's just so, there's, I, just, I love the creativity. I love it. It's why, I, it's why I've been in Cusco Grande GM for, like, a bunch of years. Like, I love it when, like, people making things shoot for the moon, and then if they if they land, if they stick to landing, it's fantastic, and if they super don't, then it's super entertaining. Because you gotta have heart. A bad game with heart, that'll, that'll, that'll still leave a bunch of cool memories. I would rather play a bad game that's going... That's that's has a really brilliant idea, 
than a perfectly executed game that's boring. Yeah. Tornado Blow Oversight is, uh, um, some sort of, like, uh, uh, esports player in a fictional setting. Like, um, Mulder and Scully getting into just, just learning more about esports because of the case. Like, who's this, who's, who's this Tornado Blow Oversight? Like, oh, okay, okay, well, clearly, okay, so, okay, so listen. So this, yeah, okay, I agree with Shinryu that you should front load the info about the fight before just say, hey, how long? One minute, five minutes, ten minutes? Like, no, you give the player that information. Give the player that information. Uh, probably, like, you know, the rooms should have been reversed. You go through the storage room, you see that there's a bunch of keys and stuff under like, uh, there's a bunch of, like, tokens behind key doors, and then you meet Stall Woman. And then you understand, ah, okay, okay. And that gives you the setup. Pachi, wait 1,000. Pachi is usually the kindest judge, the most, like, fresh-faced, like, take of all of them. She's just here to have a good time. You gave this level the lowest score of all. Well, I need to find out why. Inconsistent wind currents that will just, yeah, yeet you into the ceiling and crush you to death. Who, we've all had it happen. Right there. So I think I managed to make it through the stage without using mobility tools. But I had to I had to leave and come back again for some of these tornadoes to actually work. I might have just gotten lucky there. I like I like the shield with the solid hit though. See, I like it sometimes listen, not every boss has to hurt me when they touch me. Sometimes we could we could just live a little. We can just, you know, stand on each other's shoulders. She did sell me from finding out more about her, but I think I think that's that's just on the edge of you should you should give you should let you should let the player know. Put the info box on a conveyor belt in the room before stall woman, and you have to wait until it goes all the way down so you could actually find out about it. But like if you're impatient, you go and then you, you're thrust into a situation. You're no, that's I. That, that might just be... No, that might not be a good idea. But it's, it's fun to think about. It's fun to think about bits. Oh, Patchy found the mini mini bosses annoying. The mini mid bosses. Uh -huh. the, uh, air, the, the, the ring one was a little bit... I, I never liked, I never liked the, the, the stack of rings guy from Ring Man stage. I just, I just don't like him. I just don't like him. <laughs> Patchy did not enjoy a dog ladder room. See, yo, the curving nature of their shots makes it hard to determine the safe spot. I would have added a little visual flare so you could have, like, visual markers to see, oh, right, or singe marks or whatever, so you could see, oh, these are the safe spots. <laughs> you fight a big lad! Yeah, I guess I guess the whole thing. Yeah, I wonder if the 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 boss. I mean, it makes sense that the boss fell in from above because that's a Mega Man thing to do. But then the opening stayed there, and the I guess I guess the whole thing was supposed to be a hint of hey, you you should you could you can get up there, you can get up there. Especially since you are being carried to the top the whole time. But yeah, I mean, I just I got so focused on the fight myself.
Stall Mega Man while we finish building the level is a spectacular premise. Yep, it's only too bad that you have to go to a very hidden spot to find out about it. But that is a really, that is a really good premise. You're all, it should have been, see, yeah, uh, Flashman, who is a chat, uh, also a judge, says something I agree with. Yes, uh, that would have been, the level would have been so much better if it started really clean and then we could tell we were entering zones where like, oh, it's getting like less and less finished because it's still very functional. It's just that like there's more and more pits and maybe there's more like girders or like scaffolding or stuff like you see. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We are, we are getting to the bits of the levels that are visually, thematically unfinished, but still play just as well. They're just harder because there's less platform and stuff. That could have been, like, a really, really good way to, uh, to deliver on this. Flashman didn't know what this level was. Yeah, I... It's a good thing I had people in chat telling me what was happening, because I certainly didn't understand it at first. Yeah, the mini-mini bosses are awesome. I'm glad I live on it. Everyone is into the mini-mini bosses. Got lost, backtrack. Who hasn't? Who hasn't gotten severely lost every now and then? It's very Dark Souls-like to have to pierce, piece the narrative together through, like, just chats and little, little descriptions here and there. Clear communication is more important than snazzy graphics, modestly well-designed challenges, outrageously clever power stoners, or anything else this level has going for it. That's a fair point. Yeah, it's... Knocking the controller out of the player's hands, or not telling them what's happening. I think, yeah, these, these are all, like, I think, go in the same category. A level simply doesn't work if the players can get all the way to the end without comprehending any of what they just experienced. That's one of the things... Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. That's one of the things that also, also really get to me. I want to be in on the joke. I want to... When 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 it's revealed that the villain is Johnson Smith at the end, I want to go, <gasps> No! Like, I... I need, I need to get in on it. I need to be, like... I need to be rewarded for being a lore sicko. Because I'm, I'm excited. I want to. I want to. I want to be excited when I see the big reveals, which is why it's important to like be be given a chance to engage. Final token screen should be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, wait. Did the final? Oh, the final token screen. Never mind. Yeah, I removed stall woman. Made the level totally linear. And named Mini Boss Madness. Really? Okay, I just. Man, I understand not wanting to let go of Stall Woman, though, because that's such a cool concept. Yeah. I, I understand. Uh, I heart achingly disagreed because I, I respect going for the bit, but I totally get it. That probably would have made a for a better. That was another avenue could have been for like a more interest, more more enjoyable level. A spark is sad. Sprites Incorporated, like a spark, pillar of the Mega Man community is sad, and that makes me sad. Clearly needed a lot more work. Clearly playable but very glitchy. Yeah, it's a, the, the the MVP. You got a minimum viable product. Get that. Get to that point early. I love Stall Woman so much. This breaks my heart. Oh no! Stall Woman broke in the first room and never appeared. Yeah, no, that's the. Oh man, that sucks though. It's, it's such a cool gimmick, but also if it keeps breaking down, that's worse. Uh... If you can replace your gimmick with a wall and have the level function better, that's a problem. Oh man. Love the mini mini bosses. Everyone loves the mini mini bosses. 
I do like Robot Master Kamigoro Maker. That was fun. But the, yeah, the tornadoes were just janky. If it had been more... <sighs> more the opposite of jank. Would have been better. I am out. Yeah, maybe one minutes to five minutes to ten is a bit ridiculous. That's, I agree. Yeah. I also got really close just with Buster, so it might have been just like, yeah, one, two, three minutes or something, and... A good boss is one you can work out with a bit of effort. Yeah. They spark with no. That's what I, the, the judges have a lot of like varying levels of experience, and I love that like the different. This is this is why it's a good team. You get a lot, bunch of like really good different takes on the same thing. Ah, man, everything just fell apart technically. There is virtually no atmosphere to the level. Yeah, I see this after 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 Flashman's review. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Review judgment. I don't know what to call these. Oh man, what a heartbreaker! What a heartbreaker! That was such a good bit. That was such a good bit. Who are you? You're Cryo Man. I fought you before. I don't. Was, was this the same game as Aurora Man? Is that the game you're from? Were you the level with, like, the, the... Was that a fan game or a ROM hack? Where are you from? I, I must have fought you. It, it, it's, it's... Aurora Man was not the one with the Quick Man laser splitters. That's a different... That's it. That's an unlimited. Uh, Mega Man Revolution. Yep, that's the one. That's the one. The finesse, the maker and yeah, sure, I'm sure that's the finesse to smash ice into a million little pieces. Oh hey, what's up, Curlinger? <gasps> My primary purposes are to clean the floors and patrol air ducts. However, five years ago, my status as a legal, correctly sized curling stone created a curling competition tradition here. Really? Ooh, oh, I scientists would really let loose when they have. To when you get to have fun with physics. This is a good bit. This is a good bit. All right, all right, all right. Hold on. And then let me break out my brochure and go to the arena. All right. I go swimming. I might win a prize. All right. Oh, before I do this, real quick, I want to, I want to, I've been, I want to try out more costumes. There's too many cool costumes. Anchor's been fun. I want to try another one. All right, Maker Man. Would you look at that? It's Dr. Light. It's Dad. You can play as Dad. I'm not, though. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, we just played as Anchor, so... Let's just, let's just play as Balad, the other Mega Man killer. Because I don't... I haven't seen someone do a punk. Uh, no cresting the ladder. No cresting the ladder's, like, pose. Points off. Oh, that... But that is, like, such a chonker of a... But that looking ripped. Just lounging there, looking incredibly shredded. That's a good spinny. That's a good spinny. Well done. I love how. See, okay, look at look at how. See, it works, but there's clearly only one side, uh, one side pose, and then just very subtle variations on the on the, the front or this one this pose, and that's fine. You don't need to make things more complicated for yourself. These are hard poses to draw, like this one, and it's like it's front and back. And then you squish it. You don't need to do anything more complicated than that. <laughs> 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 you 
you could also set a different a different pose for slipping on an oil puddle and the 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 Peter Griffin death pose is a pole. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, that's really good. That's a really good bit. What is happening to the sprite? It's a, it's a Peter Griffin pose. Let me let me grab it real quick. Let's see. Oh, I can't actually... Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm just gonna grab it off my desktop. <laughs> just like... Like... From the back with like... Like, arm flopped over. Yeah. Yeah, it's the, it's the Peter Griffin de the Peter Griffin death pose. God, it's a good bit. I love it. You, okay, you can tell the pe the person who made this had some fun. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, we got places to be. To the arena. All right, uh, bottom floor. Okay. Bottom floor, boss gallery, let's go. Shout out to Chibzel. Oh man, man, what it, who are you again? You giant sculpture look at. Brush coil. <laughs> that's, a, that, yeah, that's a good bit, that's a good bit. All right, let's go. Okay, dev kit mini bosses. Ported, ported by Snow Run Pyro. Thank you, Pyro. Okay, dev kit mini bosses. Dev kit robot masters. Dev kit guardians. Okay, tier one end crane counters. We are in tier six, I believe. Oh, one moment. I just gotta. Oui, hello. Uh, c'est ma femme, je peux me mettre qu'est-ce qui se passe? Parfait, merci beaucoup. Oh, une question aussi. J'ai posé la question, est-ce que c'est possible d'avoir un mois de plus? Un mois de plus? Vu qu'il était en rupture de stock. Ah, ok, bon, ben, gardons ça pour l'instant, comme ça, pour l'instant, on va passer. <rire> Merci beaucoup. Bonne journée. Oh, good. Oh, no, it's fine. I know, I know, I know, I know, it's fine, it's fine. It's okay. I deliver, it's just, delivery arrived. It was nothing compromising. Thank you, thank you for letting me know, it's okay. The thing is, this new microphone is great, but if I mute it with the little button in front, Windows immediately, immediately forgets it ever existed, and then I have to do a whole rigmarole to get it working again. And I don't have a quick and easy way to mute it. I need—I should just get another button for here. Anyway, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. All right, it's just nothing. Nothing compromising with that. Anyway, Alexa, I love Mega Man. I love Mega Man so much. And like this game, camera's here. This game is such a treat. Like make a good Mega Man level. This is the sixth one of these. Uh, it's always, it's always a big, like giant treat to me because they are the best love letters, the most best, most curated love letters to Mega Man. And every one of them keeps getting better. And like, ugh, I'm just, I'm living. This is, this is why I love to do Good Morning Mega Man. This is why I play through all the bad games because sometimes they have good ideas and it's, it's worth making it through. But like this one is just like, ugh, here's, here's hundreds, 
hundreds of people got together to make something really special, and I'm just, it's just it's, you can't you can't not have fun. Anyway. Uh, Flashman, I am not a big fan of Family Guy or Archer or American Dad, but I have heard good things about Bob's Burgers. Maybe I should check that out at some point. I keep hearing good things about Bob's Burgers. Uh, I'm not a pinball-er, but I know people who are, so I'll, I'll drop them a line. Oh no, did, did Xanderbot misinterpret me speaking French again? Est-ce que tu me comprends quand je parle comme ça? Ok. D'accord. Bon, ben, je vais laisser faire la prochaine fois. <laughs> back, back that one up. Back that, back up, Xander. What did you say there? Est-ce que ça fait une différence quand je parle un français plus international? She said, what did you say there, please? Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. I gotta, I love you. I got. I love you, my robot daughter. I gotta teach you French. Oh, God. Anyway. Heavy. Just heavy. Oh, yeah. Touch hunty, get dizzy. Did you give funny names to all of these? Did you give funny names to all of these? That is... Commitment to the bit. Pit Fighter Sparkman. Blood Mad Centaur Man. Crystal Infused Mechanic. <clears throat> the Titular Frenzy Reactor of Solar Man. Mad Grinder's Pet Block. <laughs> right! Right! Mad Grinder with a little block in it. You didn't have to do. You didn't have to make them all funny. One and a half Jeopardy Man? That's right! That's right! Because you only get three of them! This is so good! Fun okay, you have Mad Grinder's Pet Block and Fankaro's Pet Mad Grinder. <laughs> I love that the icon is for Fankaro. Whoops. Anchor's stuck it out from escaping. <laughs> Sonic Man's Cold Cramped Secret. Eskaru crosses the line. Reverse Big Snakey, Touch Hunty, Get Dizzy, Burby, and Stall. This, yeah, this game, this game's so good. This game's so good. Did you do this for all of them? Whopper makes friends. Snakey's gravitational mess. Learn to count with T Comet. Snipe away at the dock. You did this for all of them. All of them have gags. Bakery Mantheta, Giant Met Cannon Custom, Ovarn, and the Chef, and a Chef Met. Bakery Man, yeah, Omega, Theta, yeah. Oh man, there's a snake in my boot up. Big Snakey versus a Spring. <laughs> These are all. Oh, oh Dement. Dimensional Gravity Man with Dimensional Misspelled. Oh, man. Just like the name of the, of the level. Digitiger. Oh, man. Mediocre self-esteem. One, one Froggy Evening is, like, such a good mashup, though. Oh man, these are so good! Suzak and Phoenix is a heated argument. Oh man. Man. Oh, these are. So yep. Top man, green. Bubble man, wrong side up. Honey Women's in a Confused Fun. Mm. 
You had way too much fun with these. Oh my god, this... Make a good Mega Man level 3 developers is commitment to the bit. Phenomenal. Okay, let's let's fight Stall Woman. Okay, okay, okay. So What's what's the thing? What's the thing here? Is it is it Spark Chaser? I mean it's it works. It's pretty effective. I don't think it's gonna reverse any healing though. It also just straight up snipes the drone, so. Yeah, it's pretty good at sniping the drone. Uh so wasn't this. Let's So this this gets rid of the Oh, it does get rid of the drones, but it also gets rid of like, the, the, the shields and stuff, so that's pretty good. Alright, what about Tornado Blow just is straight up murders her. Uh Oh my god! So Thunderbeam just straight up destroys the box. And this is just Yeah, it's just effective. Oh. Bye. Okay. Was it was it, uh... So I got through all of them except for one. Oh, yeah, yeah! What if I made my own? Yeah, you would not... You would not really care at all. Oh! That's funny. Oh, she just... She did... Okay! That's pretty funny. That's pretty good. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It doesn't really do anything against the drones, but it's funny. Okay, well, we are... Situation's getting a little bit weird here. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, you just... Okay, I like that you just, like, punch away the walls. Right! There's also one more I haven't done. Okay. That's a really, that's a, that's a really funny, that's a really, that's a really funny bike to give that ad. I think this works pretty well. pretty well. Is it- is it really Magnet Beam? Do you- does the Magnet Beam mess with her drone? That is... You just had to know that one. You just had to know that one. The magnet beam. Yeah, ma magnet magnetizes her healing. It's, it's, okay. There is there wasn't that one other stage with the magnet beam interaction. I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, you run a magnet over. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. All right, good sprite, good sprite. I love that you just get the. Uh, this is this is the bike that you get. So this is this is the little capsule. So Balad shows up uh, in uh, Mega Man Four for Game Boy, right? Or is it three? I think it's four. Yeah, four. Yeah, uh, and... Oh, see? Okay, so Badad, real big, real big, but the sh the Megabuster shot 
can only go so high up canonically, so making Balad crouch down to shoot, very good bit. Yep, you shoot the Balad Cracker, perfect. So yeah, this is this is the the this is the uh, little spaceship that Dr. Light makes for you in the shmup section leading up to Dr. Wily's giant space pirate ship at the end, I think. It's also the one that's reused in um, uh, Make a Good Mega Man level. The first one, I think, right? Where you use the energy elements to go up into up into space. Oh, that's a Joe spaceship. Okay, it's a space Joe. Okay. Right, that makes more sense. I thought that's what it was, but I guess I second-guessed myself. I shouldn't. Anyway, uh, Coil. Boing. I think my wife is awake. Anyway, let's actually play a second level. What do you, what do you say that? What do you say if we played another one of these? The Horned Man got a new stage. No. Why, why am I filled with dread? I wouldn't say Flashman liked this, but Flashman disliked this level the least. Decent aesthetic score. Hey, this level, you know what? It's functional. Is it creative? No. Is it fun? Kinda. How's the design? Well, it it is... It is the... Flashman gave it its one passing grade. Alright. Alright, cool. The one Mega Man uses is a rush modification Mega Man. Yeah, yeah. I got my I got my space things mixed up. Anyway, uh, one token, one way to beat it. Let's go. Hornet man. Hornet got a brand new stage. Wee. Yeah, not great creativity score because this is just. He really looks like he's just lounging when he slides. Like, yeah, what's up? That ad is effortlessly sailing through through the stage. I'm. Yeah, you want to- can I- okay, I guess not, I guess that's where I'm going. Aha! I see, I see. I see. No, I- I need that, I need that to live. I- you know, I don't really recall Hornet's Man's actual- Hornet's- Hornet's Man? I don't recall Hornet Man's actual stage all that much. Oh, I recall it better now. Don't spawn on me, thank you. Hell on my way. Yep, absolutely. Writing, we got writing to do today. Ah, these are top solids. Bam! You only need the one hit point at the end. Yay. Oh, dying right after the checkpoint? That's wild. Imagine doing that. <laughs> ah! My sprite may be big, but I'm small on the inside. I'm- Hey, don't do that! Okay. Hey! What? That thing had places to be! Oh, right! Because, okay. You couldn't do this in regular Mega Man. Or at least, so in, I think Mega Man 1 and 2, maybe 3. At some point, I, they might start fixing this, but I, I'm not sure. Uh, the top collision for these is actually just at the middle. It's like, like, it's, like, very, very extremely thin, so you will just fall right off. You can't tiptoe your way to the end of these in regular Mega Man. But here, because the Mega Mix engine has been uh, perfected over many years, they are treated just like any other platform. And that's important to me. Zoom. 
Yum. What if I simply won every time? Didn't take a single hit. I just, I can't sing. I think I can't sing when the music is this cashy. It's like taking over my own rhythm. <laughs> my load bearing shin. The weirdness with the collision at the end of those rolls. Yeah, I, I not a big fan of it either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey? 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 Let me, let me get up? Let me get up? No? I can't? I can't get up from this platform? <laughs> hey! 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 Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, do I have to defeat you? You won't let me go? Did you not... Or did you not, like, anticipate someone just wanting to walk by you? Yeah. And I was gonna walk by you like Billy. Zoop. Alright, um... No. No. This one. Oh. Oh, that's a good bit. That's a good bit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. The, the... Hold on. Yeah, just using... Using... Using that specific rocket. As the jet. Very clever. Very cool. Ow! Bop, 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 bop. Alright, hold on a second. Okay, yeah, it's just... What's, what's over here, then? Oh, right! Yeah, the last time there was one. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take an, an oral tradition secret. Honey Woman is hidden in the garden! Well, well, well! Okay, okay, good to know, good to know. Well, only need the one hit point at the end. I needed that hit point at the end. Time to say farewell. Right, right, I forget that. That ad is the... is the noble sacrifice robot. The, uh, Hokuja Akira of Mega Man Killers. Okay, so, uh, this is gonna be bad for me. I need something that lets me get in there. Uh, I would normally use Break Dash, but I can't use that unless I'm on the ground. And these are all small platforms. What if I just, just drop some ice? Drop some ice! I played myself expertly there. I need to stay. I need to stay up above. If I'm gonna do this, I need to stay up. Dark Witch Claire says, The Hornet Man assets have become some of your least favorite to see in this game. I am not a big fan of them myself. Okay, what if what if I would water the plants? Of course that wouldn't do anything. Why did I think that would do something? <laughs> I simply... Listen, listen, this thing isn't moving. It is teleporting like Yoku blocks. Simply be where the blocks are not. Ah, ah! It did do damage. It did do damage. I ended up getting seriously hurt, but I still won. Hi, Grasshopper. Next time I saw you, you yeeted me into the ceiling and crushed me instantly. 
I'm glad we've moved on from that. Okay, I was just... I was just time to get curious! I really need to see if this is... If... Either... Anyone know, like, a voice actor who's really good at making a believable Mega Man X4 Mega Man voice? Because I sure would love... How did I do that jug? How on earth did I make that? Bye! Whoop! Yep, there she is. Whoop! Wop, 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 wop. Just jump good. Just be perfect, Mega Man. Or Balad. Allez, Balad. Montre-leur de quoi tu es capable. Ah ouais, Balad, fais dans le tour! Okay, you gotta stop. You gotta stop doing that. You gotta stop doing that. Oh, it's you! Alright. Cool. So how's that working out for you? Okay, fine. You stay alive and you tell the tale of the, the Mega Man killer that just destroyed your, your boss and, and stuff. Man, this is a lot of work for you. Oh. Hi, Hornet Woman. So, you'll notice I don't have a lot of health here, so, uh... One moment. Alright. Hornet Woman. Hornets, they don't like being frozen. But it's really tricky to hit with that. So what if they got struck by lightning instead? Um, hey, don't leave the don't leave the boss arena. We kinda need to be in the boss arena. Boss arena is my favorite new kind of like jazz adjacent music to listen to. Please don't leave though. Please don't just leave the stage. Almost got the double hit there a few times. Almost got the double hit. Cool. Am I supposed to go down? I am supposed to go down. Hey! Hey! Eh! Hey! Okay, okay! The hell am I? Where is this? Oh, I see. Yeah, sometimes you just drink an IRL health potion. It's good. Oh man, this is great. And then I don't have to do this. Don't have to do this bit. Loving it. Yeah. Just lounging. Just straight up lounging. All right, two chonkers. All right, chonk versus chonk fight. Uh, let's see. All right, what's what's your break dash like? All right, it's, it's very, very classical. Very classical. All right, well... Are you also vulnerable to being hit by lightning? Most things are. Goodbye. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -down. Yeah, uh, Honey Woman was the original version of Hornet Man, and they chickened out at the last moment and turned her into Hornet Man. Like cowards. This is why the optimal 
configuration. So it's like like a uh, tired eight ro eight eight robot master guys wired for robot masters that end in man for robot masters that end in woman inspired a mix of something man something woman and something bot just just really give us like a big a big a big old smattering of gender in that in that in that robot master pie yeah it's like i played uh like, hey, what if we made a, another Hornet Man stage? Yep. That was it. Yeah, non-binary bot, exactly. Anyway. I, I like I like Flash Man's icons little grin. Yeah, it was yeah, no, absolutely. Mick Del Bonnie. Uh sums it up. It's Hornet Man stage, but different! Right? I think it is. I also don't really remember Hornet Man stage. Yeah, it's just... It's Hornet Man. That's a thing you can do to... 73 levels are worse than this one. It is... It is very middle of the road. The vast majority of Hornet Man's silly and quirky enemies were replaced with bees! It's a... Is that a, it's like a con like a recurring joke or something? Like just fill it with bees? It happens a lot in this contest. So Hanamiron isn't the sort of enemy that you want to use five times or more. Yeah, yeah, no, no one. I don't think anyone likes that. Yeah, level's not great. It's just. Yeah, it's just remarkably boring is a good way to do. There's there are several bees are funny jokes. <laughs> Bonitary. Bonitary. Alright, Shinryu is Is that is that does Shinryu have like resting mean face? Or is that Shinryu being angry? I can tell when Shinryu's happy. I've seen Shinryu's happy face. But I don't know if that's just neutral or angry. Okay, so good premise. Hornet Man's level, kind of forgettable. Let's let's do a cool new take on it. Yeah, and um, yeah, but let or be or, or don't. Not enough was done with the gimmicks. Okay, shouldn't we take? Not enough was done with the gimmicks. I guess it, yeah, like you just have the unwinding platforms. You have like the clock flower. Thing is just you have a grasshopper somewhere. Two? I think you have two? Yeah, it's just Eh. I don't know what a Bokazura is, sorry. <laughs> the only thing the only notable thing is Hana Biran, because this flower keeps showing up! Yeah, it's, oh yeah, the, the weird missing collision on the ceiling, because how else are you going to make sure players don't hit their head and miss a jump, but also just just raise the ceiling? I don't know. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's forgettable. The ball shooting machine. The Bokazura is the ball sh I don't like those. I don't like the pitcher plant that is, like, pitching you a bomb. I don't like those. I appreciate the, the the gimmick. Right, you shoot it, it is invincible, and then you have to like, like, make it trick you into shooting out the things you're standing on. That's very cool. It's a very nifty concept, but I personally don't like it. It's very valid. I just don't like it. Dollar Star Hornet Man. Yeah. The Hornet Man with, with more bees, and that's it. Tashi is not impressed. It's just, it's just, yeah, it's just, it really just, it doesn't even feel like a, like... If you're gonna make a remake, like a, here's a better take on that stage, that stage really could have been better, and here's how. And if you're not gonna go for broke with it, it's just like, okay. I, yeah, I was just not particularly impressed or interested. 
The Hornet one was there though, and that was fun. Yeah, sometimes it's just like you, you literally can't could proceed unless you go back and defeat the mini bosses. The boss is just Hornet Man. It's just Hornet Man. Yeah, it's 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 okay. <laughs> Not to be outdone by. Oh man, remember Cutman's new warehouse? Yeah, that one was actually. I remember that one more than I do this one. Yeah, I, I don't know. Hornet Man's very meh, but uh, Hornet Man for me is the the face of Jupy Hornet. Another uh, another classic. Uh, make a good Mega Man level judge. So at least at least he's got that going for him. Not not a lot of robot masters out there also double as judges and faces of the community. So you know. Levels of my cohesive theme, steady difficulty curve, blah, 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 big picture stuff. Is... Yeah, it's just. Oh, wait, no, it's not that it's boring, it doesn't hold up as well under closer scrutiny. Oh, some. you Okay, you might mistake some spikes for background. Yeah! I thought that bottomless pit was a screen transition because it didn't fade to black like you're supposed to, in this day and age. Also, yeah, you could just walk by the mini boss and then you can't keep going in a very janky way. If it had been at least a physical wall, we would have known, but... Yeah, it's... it's... Oh no, one-way transitions that make it look like a secret... Oh, when you just do like a one-way transition and you stack a checkpoint on top and it makes it... Oh no! That's a, that's a bad feeling. Ideas are good. Length and pacing are right. The graphics look okay, pretty nice for a tile set. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I'm so so about the tile set myself. But it's just, yeah, it's just you didn't do a lot. A spark, still not a passing score, but at least is putting on a happy face. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's entering a level creation contest with here's my take on this existing thing. Is just that's you got that's a. It's that's a challenge. That is like a like you could do anything and you chose to make something that already existed. For me, it's like, hmm. I am not a big fan of remake stages unless they're really interesting. Uh, my favorite remake is uh, Re Mega Man, the series of levels made by More Kitten uh, in Mega Man Maker. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, yep, found it. Uh, let's see. Whoop, if I go over here on Morkin's co-host, and then I go... There it is. Yeah, uh, hey, you wanna, you wanna play a better version of Mega Man 1? Go play these levels uh, in Mega Man Maker in, in the order you want and then do the Wily stages. That is now my favorite version of Mega Man 1. Like, More Kitten made some, like, tremendously smart reimaginings of those levels and of the Wily Castle half of that game. It's, like, phenomenal. I would, I would play a fan game that is those levels put together in a little wrapper. That would be my favorite Mega Man fan game. Like, my, my Mega Man 1, like, you know, remake or fan game. I should bookmark it, but it's just co-host as such incredible SEO. It is super easy to me to find it. I just, I just, I just search like more kitten, like Mega Man, and I just find it immediately. It's very easy to, it's very easy to track down. Anyway, this level. This level. And almost every enemy has a B or B related, including things that trap bees and eat them. Yeah, it's 
if there's if sticking to the theme isn't enough to make your level interesting, I think it's fine to just do what some have done and take enemies that fill and take dev kit enemies that fill a niche, and then give them B costumes, give them a recoloring and some black stripes, and you're good. Give a little a little a little like like a stinger. It's gonna be it's gonna be really funny. You don't need to do that much. You give him like little little bee antennas or wings or just just a little touch to say like oh they're dressed up as bees to fit to the theme and that's cute that's plenty this is true in the garden section could have just added other insects that would have been fine there's plenty of insect robots in mega man that fill different roles in combat because that's the thing about mega man you don't need to make super smart enemies that have a billion different things they can do all the enemies in mega man are so 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 simple but it's combining them that make things interesting. Hana Biran mini boss. That would have been really, really cute. Just throws bees. <gasps> like a swarm of bees shaped like a flower, and then the individual bee. Uh, yeah. That'll be, that'll be okay. Oh, Hornets from the Wonder Swan games. They are Wonder Swan game enemies were like really hit and miss. In that sometimes like a lot of time they would miss you, but sometimes when they hit you, you really felt it. Like that one met that knocks you through a screen transition. Anyway. Really, the first spikes really blended in for a lot of the judges. I guess I didn't really pay attention to that myself. I straight up got lucky with the grasshopper and the bees. I think I just really just got lucky with them. Ignoring the flower is a death sentence. Says the A Spark in a really cool, really cool line. Really? Oh no. So by taking the hidden path, I sidestepped a spot where if you ignore the flower, you just literally. You can't go on and you have to die and start over. That's messed up. That's messed up. Using the flower clock does make the honey woman fight more interesting, but it's... You, it just forced me to stay in the corner, IMO. Bog standard Hornet Man at the end was a bit of an anticlimax, that's fair. When you make the hidden boss, it's okay to make the hidden boss more interesting, but if it's just on one path and then you fight the regular boss after that, it, it just, I don't know how you don't, how do you make that not anticlimactic? Yeah. It was, yeah, I don't know, it was, yeah. Do tell tell. Ooh, that's your destiny. Swimming, no? Okay. What if, what if I, hold on, what if I, no? No, you just, no? Okay, but what if, what if I? Okay, I tried. Hitman is here, so of course Snowman would be here as well. Of course, like, yeah, you have Repairman. Everyone's here. Everyone from Mega Man Rocks is here. Is Doorman around? Well, Doorman was in the last one, so I don't think he'll show up here, but... Yeah, just shovel more snow in there. Just, just absolutely. All right, I think that's going to be enough for today. That's going to be enough for today. Yep, yep, I'm good. I'm good. Whatever that is, I'm good. Totes... Fine. All right, Michael Bus. Oh boy, man, I need to take a load off. Okay, so yeah, Hitman's here. Oh yeah, always bet on black. Ah, wow, you lose. Pyro wasn't here, so my luck ran out. Next level's pretty short and straightforward. Cool. I'll yeah, I need I need to stop though, so I'll play one game.
And then I'll, oh, I can't, I can't not, I can't not look at this. They're just, they're just feeding me, they're just feeding me the win right here. Like, like, I can't, I can't just, it's just, it's there, it's there. I wish there was a quick button to flip the next card over. Why don't you have a button that plays the whole game by itself? Okay, fine, fine, I suppose, I suppose. There it is. Hey! What's that? Your 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 Mega Man fan game doesn't have a fully functioning solitaire game in it? Weird. And then I liberate this card, and that does nothing for me. Unforge. That's okay. That's okay. World is still my oyster. Oyster status still world. Okay? Alright? If I can get a Red Quint, we're in business. Nope, uh, you, you got it. You had it there. You had it there. Wouldn't you know it, our Red Quint. And that means I get the other ace. Perfect. Perfect. That means I can liberate this. Always liberate the stacks as soon as possible. You need to liberate the stacks. Um, that's cool. I need to get that out of here. Okay. Nope, that's the wrong order. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so I can get this one over here, and then if I can get the... Oh, I'm close to being able to, like, liberate something. I can now liberate something. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Now I can get this over here and then get this four out the door. Get this four out the door. Let this three be free. And then Quint is here. This Quint is essential, you would say. So I could just knock this one out here but I don't have to do it right away. I just want to see what I'm working with. Because I can do this. Ah, see? Okay. Now... Okay, actually, yeah, I can do this and see what... Yeah, I'm not going to commit... There we go. Now I can do both. <laughs> Shows what Proto Man knew. I can do both. Oh, man. Okay. The ace at the very bottom of the tallest stack was a little bit mean. A little bit mean there, RNG. And here we are. I'm the king of cards. No! Please let us, oh, let us have this, please. Feature request. Feature request. Let us, let us do something so we can see the thing happen. I want to see the thing happen in the back. Oh! <gasps> New costume. And she's got a cool ponytail. Maybe 1.7, yeah. No, 1.1 is the next one, I think. All right, gotcha, Pond Capsule, what you got for me? Bakery Man? There's even a mouse plush inside the hat. <gasps> That's from this game. This game. All right, what you got, what you got? Okay, Flashman is excited for the costume I just got. It's Skullman. Is that a plum costume? It's Wanderbell, a wandering soul converted to plush form. It's so adorable. 
that's from Rockman and Friday, Challenger from the Future on the Wanderswan. Everyone loves the Wanderswan game. <gasps> it's Vent! No, sorry, it's Vent. That's the French word. Name yourself after a French word, and now it's time for Harp Note. Live and on stage, a famous pop idol from another dimension. Merge with a like minded alien. Is she truly happy though? I gotta play the Star Force games at some point. I gotta play the Star Force games. Alright, one more. Who could it be? Really? No, don't throw the plush into an incinerator. That's just. I mean, it's, it's, who wouldn't expect, uh, a, a portal reference? It's just wild to see it in the wild. Wow. This joke is still alive. Thank you. Thank you. All right, all right. All right, hold on. I need to do something real quick. Zoom. Okay. All right, I want to find my token. So I've been advised not <clears throat> to get the key quite yet because it spoils... Or it might be spoiling for something later. So... I don't really need the level mapper. It's fine. I have everything. I don't need... I don't need something that does... I don't need a robot that does my job for me. Please! I love... I love doing the thing I do. Uh... <clears throat> trickle Charge is kind of interesting. I've been interested in Trickle Charge. And Flurry Buster is just... It's broken fun. Metal Helmet is cheating. Oh, I can go ahead and get the key? Okay. I'm getting conflicting information now. Well, okay, in that case, I'll just think about it a little bit longer. <clears throat> what was I doing? Yes, right, okay, we gotta go. We got to go. You okay, Frozen Man? It opens up things that reference some contest entries. Okay. Well, yeah, I heard the, uh... I have not talked to the Ice Machine yet. Hi, Ice Machine from Mega Man Rocks. like it's making something or is it just constantly dipping into the water all right all right it's costume time oh no oh no oh no Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, don't start. No. Oh. Booty girl is here. Oh, wow. Oh, man, these are good jumps. Yep. Cresty cresting that ladder. <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, do you Oh, unlock condition was collecting enough bolts because she's a bounty hunter. Do you want to know what the joke is? No, yeah, no, that's fair. That's a, yeah, listen, listen. Um, that's a very valid uh, question. Let me just, I'm, hold on. I'm sure I have it somewhere over here. Uh, 
Uh. All right. I think I have a Chrome window somewhere. Uh, let's see. I have a Chrome window for clip viewing. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna real quick uh, go over to. Here, uh, go this, go to my. Uh, yeah, no, don't, don't. Go this, go to my. Oh, I don't think you can hear it. Yeah. No, no you can hear it. Okay, cool. This. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just don't show me the clips. No, you can't hear it. Okay, cool. Stop it. Don't do that. Don't do that. I just, just want to show me the clips. Okay, Why are you still it. playing? Don't do that. Don't do that. I just want to. How do I? Show me the clips. Show me. Still playing. I just. Just show me the clips. Just the clips. Okay. Just. Just go to Clips Manager. There we go. All right. Okay. Okay, Clips of my channel. Mega Man ZX Advent. Okay. Yeah, ZX Advent, we have a bounty hunter. So the prey, or the, you could have been the, 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 her prey, her target. No, they chose a different word. Uh... I think it's... Yeah, there's the one. There's the one. Okay, so how do I... Uh, yep, just open that up right oh. here. Will... Will this... No, actually... Uh, just oh. show me the... Show me the... I... How do I hold on? How do I get a, a, a shareable link to this? Yeah. Copy link, I guess. I'm just trying to. Oh, no, it's just a... okay. Whatever, whatever. Um, hold on a second. So I'm just gonna. This one. Okay. Is this gonna work? Kinda. Okay, well, here you go. So, uh, Cass, you were asking for the reference. Um, here we are. Oh, the biometal has a fear of abandonment. How incredibly relatable. Of course, you're my booty. And you'll be going with me. Super. Yeah, it's just So this is this isn't even the only one. Hold on, there's also another one. Uh let's see. Yeah, yeah, okay. There's this one. I'm going to go ahead and meet our booty face to face. Yeah, so it just, it's just, it's just, it's a lot of this. It's a lot of this. It is constant, constant. Uh, so, yeah, uh, let's see. So now that your appetites have been wet for booty.
So now that your appetites have been wet for booty... Yeah, no, it got clipped twice, because of course it did. Of course it did. Anyway. 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 Now, now you know. Anyway. So that's Ash, the bounty hunter. L look at her cool little gun. Look at her cool little gun. <sighs> yeah, she's doing the cool pose. Yeah, she's great. Oh, I'm gonna play as her a lot. Look at how... Man, look at how, like, svelte and, like, man, okay, yeah, I should have just, like... Th like, see, if I had seen this one, then that would have been the inspiration for, like, the, the Xandrobot, uh... The Xandrobot costume. Look at her, she's, like, super, like... She's long. She's long. Man, she's great. <laughs> what a good, what a good costume. Whee! Oh, she's so cool. She's so cool. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm gonna have a, a good time next time. I love that her level, her, like, uh, not her level up, her, like, life icon is the, is the is Biometal A. That's just, that's just perfect. Ash was nearly cut? Oh, she was on the list of costumes, but nobody had claimed her. But you, oh, Flashman, you contacted Fusion, who did a cutscene art for Ojo's, and he agreed to do the, yeah, no, I'm so glad. Ash is a treasure. Uh, no, ifs, ands, or buts about it. I'm glad she's in this game. Okay, okay, please, please. The fact that these have, like, custom palettes is giving me hope. The best choice! You could not have picked a better one for this. You get the bio- you get the biometal forms as utilities. Man! Oh, that's so good. That's so good. That's incredible. That's incredible. The the vertical placement on the bike seems a little weird, but wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah, no, like listen, listen. More more ladies in in and uh, and assorted genders in the game, please. Okay, I have to know what's what's the jet. Yep, that's yep, yep. That, yep, I love this one. I love this one. <sighs> perfect. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right, all right, that's it. Ending on a high note. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tremendous time. Tremendous day. Day has been saved. I'm... That I would, I would, I would make, I would make a booty jo uh, joke here, but I can't, physically unable to. Just, just imagine I said your favorite one. See you next time for more Good Morning Mega Man. Monday, Wednesday, Friday morning, morning, actual morning. I'm gonna do my best to stick to it. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves because you're with it and you deserve it. And until next time, let's keep making wonderful things together.